Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm gonna do a quick trade plan for Wednesday, December 9th, and I'm gonna do it on slash CES, which is the S&P 500 and the other indices that you can find on Nadex. And I'm gonna start here on the S&P, and um, every single evening I like to start here on the four hour chart, or what I like to call the bird's eye view. And as far as a day trader goes, the four hour chart is the most important chart to understand, is what is our bias on this chart? Are we overbought, oversold, or are we at equilibrium? A little bit of a recap, we have been on uh, a pretty um, historic um, bullish move here. And the reason I say it's historic is because we're currently in the midst of one of the worst right, pandemics ever. It looks, seems like it's getting worse and worse and worse. The reason, though, we continue to see such an historic bull market, we're sitting here at all-time highs. There is a lot of optimism on the horizon, which is really, really pushing this market higher. And to be, if you really want to understand it this is a this is a chart of the top 500 companies in america and for the most part the companies that are really controlling this chart right the big major companies they're not struggling right now during this pandemic yes your mom and pop shop is and then you're wondering why is my mom and pop shop struggling down the street but the stock market's soaring it's because the stock market is not based off of your mom and pop shop it's based on the top 500 companies and so those companies are still doing relatively well. And of course, we're still seeing optimism. Looks like the vaccines are starting to roll out. And it does look like um, more optimism on the um, relief funds from uh, Congress and the Senate. And so that's kind of why we're seeing that. I've been getting some messages on people wondering what's happening. Why is this happening? It's just kind of the big reasons there. And sometimes the market just does stuff you can't explain, honestly. And so here we are, just technically speaking, we're at all-time highs. Starting about here, you can see how slow this bullish grind is. We have lost so much volatility. It makes it so hard to trade when the market does this and we have no back and forth action. You know, pretty much the whole month of December, we have yet to, we bear, and actually it didn't touch, so we can technically say it. We have yet to even cycle to that red Keltner. We need a cycle down so, so badly. If this market continues going higher tomorrow, I won't be trading up there because there's uh, no structure. But when you move here to the 15 day, 15 minute plot chart, no more indicators. I just talked about if the market goes higher, I won't be trading up there, although there is change. Uh, Deviations where you can look for some change control resistance. Just understand there's no structure here. And so um, it's a lower probability of success. To the downside, this does have a decent opportunity for 80% um, roll. I wouldn't sell just yet. Definitely not. Uh, but if this, it's a it's a very healthy value rate box. And if this market can get through set and hold pullbacks, you got an initial target there at the POC cluster. And then you can lock and trail for value rate low and possibly even... Uh, the BTG negative 0.5, and that is a plenty of profit potential. It's a lot of profit potential using touch brackets on Nadex uh, or uh, micro futures. Again, wait for a breakout, hold pullback, mental stop, and then lock and trail the profits as it goes lower. The negative 0.5 and value rate low would qualify for first pocket of demand right there. And so clearly this market is insanely bullish. Look at this, just higher highs, higher lows. So we can still buy this chart. We just gotta make sure that we're pulling back nicely, uh, a deep enough pullback. This would qualify, but I would say my favorite pullback level would be into that negative one or into that negative one and a half. And anything I were to buy down into here, make sure there's good change control because if we're tanking, who knows where the bottom could be because this market needs to correct itself badly. NQ is very similar. It actually has a small little value rate drift back opportunity. May not be able to catch it because it's kind of small, but it, it's there. And this also has an opportunity for 80% roll, negative 0.5 value rate low. The best pockets of demand are going to be sitting on that uh, negative one. But the, here's an all time high. This market needs to severely uh, retract back down before we get so we, that we can get back into some good structure. At least YM has relatively decent structure. This one has a really clean 80% rule opportunity, and you can see why, right? How clean it is. The negative 0.5 is overlapping value rate low, and the big round number, um, 30,000. So you can't get too much big rounder than that. 30,000 right there. These bears start running. A lot of people, a lot of these bears are going to push it into the big round number. It's just a self-fulfilling move, right? And here's first demand pocket, second, and then the third around that negative one and a half. My least favorite market for tomorrow is RTY. 
It is severely just on a bullish tear right now. Um, I would say um, it does have an opportunity for 80% rule. Uh, but I think I'm not even going to trade this market tomorrow just because of the structure isn't as decent as the previous three. And so I'll probably just stick with the previous uh, three for the opportunities. And don't forget that we also have deviations on the three major Forex pairs. So make sure that you're taking pictures of all of your trades and use the four-step trading process and post the bird's eye view, the worm's eye view, and the trade stamp in the BGG Trader Tribe so that you can get feedback from me and from others.